another warm day and I think there will be a few more air closing as well next to it and uh, you can see the sea through the wings in the chrysalis and then this one will be going today I think and there's a couple sitting here two there here's also another one sitting next to the J there it's about ready to go This one I just missed that it's uh, closed. Uh, just keep an eye on these, I'll see uh, what's gonna reveal today. Just missed this one, the closing that just popped out. See, it's very compact. The device is very compact, and eventually it will expand. Here's another one that's just popped out. Keeping all these bloody ants. Testing its wings, pumping up the wings. Hang on tight there. Pisses off the J next to it, but that's the way it is. Amazing. sitting here and it's tying up the wings at the moment and then they're ready to launch themselves we're up to number eight today stunning colors yeah there's uh, five units ready to be released well they're released already Well, over the last uh, five, ten minutes, I had about six or so closures. I will do my best to get a recording of one of them. Um, ideally, I like to have the camera on a tripod. You see butterflies in various stages with small wings, and when they just popped out, that one is fresh. And the other ones, uh, they're full size. They need to hang for a while uh, to fill up the, butter, the wings. The wings are wet and stretch them out and they hang for at least three or four hours before they start making an attempt uh, to do any flying. The colors of these things are totally amazing. Orange, black and white. That's a newer one that is still uh, getting its wings right. And they all originate from these beautiful caterpillars. And as nature does things, there are also mishaps, there are ones with scrambled up wings. I normally give them honey water for a few days. So nature to have the main species survive, they uh, want to have the strongest one uh, make it. And uh, yeah, in real worlds it's about 3%, 3 out of 100 survive uh, when they're born from an egg. And then in between all the stages, uh, caterpillars get picked up by birds, um, in, uh, how do you call them, wasps, paper wasps especially. So yeah, there is failures on those. And then even at the final completion when the capsule E closes, they still uh, have mishaps as well. So that's my favorite size of these, the Insta 2s, they're beautiful. They have that bright yellow, really nice devices. And caterpillars like to hang upside down, they really enjoy that. Hey, there we go, so one just popped out. I may have missed almost, but the body just saw this pop out of the capsula. There you go, and it's programmed to hang on, get the wings in place. Some extra liquid drops out sometimes, and it's just uh, to keep the whole device uh, moisturized, I think. I will uh, keep an eye on this one in stages, I'm not going to film it all the way because it would be too boring for some people, but uh, yeah. There we go, new butterfly is born. And there's one just about to come out, there you go, look the body flips out. Another one.
Okay, this is the first one again we were observing for a while. Getting a bit bigger now. A lot of activity in this corner here. And here we are now a couple of minutes later and you see it's going almost full size compared with the one on the left. And another new enclosure happening. Try to hold the camera still. There you go. Oh, I'm out of the chrysalis and I'll have to stretch the body and get the wings sorted out. Okay, that one is completed now and it has to hang for a few hours before it starts flapping the wings slowly to get uh, strength up. Hopefully the one is going to make it, it was a pretty wrinkly, it fell on the ground. So I put it back on the plant here, so let's hope that's going to make it. Colour is beautiful orange. This one failed unfortunately by the look of it. Uh, has moved for a while, so I'll let its nature take its course. Yeah, another one just about to open up. Look at that. We number 33 or 34. Start losing count when you get so many. Hang on there, yes. Amazing. Another one is bothering this one. I'm gonna walk, I don't like that one. Oh, the color is just amazing. So a few more uh, butterflies have eclosed. We're up to about 44, 46. A couple have already flown off. I've taken the ones from the inside hotel. They have gone outside already. So yeah, it's excellent, excellent result. This one I rescued from the ground, had fallen on the ground, couldn't make a climb up. That one I've rescued and have recovered perfectly. I'm very pleased about that. Filming into the light is not ideal, but this is just quite cool. Look at all these colors here. Let's put a bit of white tissue behind here so the colors come out a bit better. Ready to be released, then they feel like they're ready for it. Small next to large. Today's Sunday, 26th January 2020. 
You have the Caterpillar Hotel, that's for the fallen ones. Uh, they're just hanging here on little electrical pegs and they're quite happy popping on. Oh, there's one here too already, it's uh, seven, so we're up to 46. Over here in uh, the cage on this today, and we got another big row of butterflies, a fresh batch. Yesterday all of us uh, 53 I think, and we're now up to 46. Then we got one sweep down. Oh, we got these hanging on the plant here. One there. That one I closed on the hibiscus. I seem to like that one somehow. That one fell on the ground and was rescued, and it's all good. And there's the other one. Caterpillar having a rest. I got a whole lot of babies here, which I rescued from the outside plants, and uh, I let them climb over, and they can go into this little plant here. And we're tagging the butterflies with the Monarch Butterfly logo, so it's number 699, SAU699. Doesn't affect the butterflies at all, so that's part of uh, research to see where they end up. And here we've got a little girl, number 700. 